The Fujifilm X-Pro6 has been one of the most anticipated cameras in recent memory, yet it remains completely unseen. No launch event, no teaser, not even a confirmed timeline. And that's exactly why photographers around the world are asking one simple question. What's taking so long? The X-Pro series has always stood apart, not just as a tool for taking pictures, but as a camera that shapes how you experience photography itself. A rangefinder-style body, that iconic hybrid viewfinder, and a shooting experience that feels emotional, personal, almost poetic. So, with the industry moving forward, new sensors arriving, AI autofocus systems improving, and Fujifilm rolling out fresh models every year, why is the X-Pro6 still missing? Welcome to my channel tech launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. Today, we're diving deep into the story behind the delay, the technology, the strategy, the challenges, and most importantly, what the X-Pro6 needs to be in order to live up to its legacy. The Fujifilm X-Pro6 has become one of the most talked about yet unseen cameras in the photography community, and the longer we wait, the more curiosity grows. Photographers who love the rangefinder-style design, the hybrid optical-slash-electronic viewfinder, and the overall emotional shooting experience of the X-Pro series have been eagerly awaiting the next chapter. But here we are, time has passed, new Fujifilm models have launched, sensor technology has advanced, AI processing has grown, yet the X-Pro6 is still nowhere in sight. So the big question is, why such a delay? What exactly is Fujifilm waiting for, and what is happening behind the scenes that has pushed this camera further into the future? To understand the delay of the X-Pro6, we have to first look at the identity of the X-Pro series. Unlike the X-T and X-H series, which are designed for broad appeal and all-around shooting capabilities, the X-Pro line is intentional, specific, and emotional. It is a camera made not just to capture images, but to shape the process of capturing them. It appeals to photographers who enjoy slowing down, composing carefully, feeling connected to the frame, and appreciating the physical experience of photography. This unique artistic identity means Fujifilm cannot simply release a minor refresh. The X-Pro cameras are meant to feel meaningful, timeless, and thoughtfully evolved. If Fujifilm released the X-Pro 6 too quickly, with only small improvements, many photographers would feel disappointed. Another reason for the delay is the sensor generation gap. Fujifilm is in transition between its older X-Trans V architecture and the upcoming X-Trans 6. If the X-Pro 6 were to launch before this transition was completed, it would risk being outdated from the very moment it arrived. Fujifilm has been refining its image pipeline to support higher dynamic range, improved low-light recovery, more film-like tonal roll-off, and better color separation. The X-Pro line has always represented Fujifilm's most film-soul-inspired body, meaning the color science must feel rich, natural, and emotionally appealing. To achieve this with next-gen hardware requires more research, longer testing cycles, and deeper tuning. Fujifilm does not want to release a rushed camera with rough color performance. Manufacturing challenges also play a role. The hybrid optical viewfinder is one of the most complex mechanical plus digital systems used in any modern mirrorless camera. It involves glass optics, display overlays, precise alignment, and firmware-based view behavior. Producing the system is far more difficult than making a traditional 